terrific night for football as EA Sports takes us to Empower Field at Mile High in the capital city of Denver, Colorado. A moment ago, through a shower of pyrotechnics, it was the hometown Broncos taking the field as they get set to do battle with the Green Bay Packers. Brandon Gordon alongside my good friend Charles Davis. Now Charles, so often it's the quarterbacks that are in the spotlight, and in this game, no different. We have a very compelling matchup. Jordan Love and Russell Wilson. We do indeed, and something I'm going to be watching for, who can get off to a fast start? If you can go out, get points on the first drive, preferably a touchdown, you can really set the tone for the game. I think that both of these quarterbacks are more than capable of doing just that. we go from Denver and as we see so frequently here in Colorado that one over the end line so it'll come out to the 25 so here are the Broncos now for their opening drive they're led onto the field by their quarterback, a man who's made quite the name for himself in the NFL, and that's Russell Wilson. And similar to his nickname, Russell Wilson has a dangerous mix of skills, the ability to throw from the pocket and extend plays and throw on the run. Not to mention an absolute winner. Usually has his team in the playoffs competing for Super Bowl opportunities. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave them with a third and about five. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. now Wilson on first down this one complete to Jerry Judy and he'll be taken down but not before he gets into enemy territory back to back 11 yard gains and they've got another first down now a handoff here's Williams a solid stiff arm and he goes down but not before getting this inside the 25 let's go, let's go. That's his longest run of the first quarter. And, Charles, we talked before the game about them needing to establish the run game. They'll be looking for more of that. And they got to the perimeter. So that tells me that that's part of the game plan of what they want to get done today. So they'll have some complimentary runs where he'll run it to the inside. But it appears that when they want the big yardage, they think they can get to the outside and make it happen. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now Wilson. And this is going to be incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. The kick by Lutz is good. And the Broncos, the first to grace the scoreboard. It's threes in. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, 
but it does go into the DNA of the team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. And he returns this to the 22. Six foot four inch Jordan Love taking the field for the first time. The 2020 first round pick from Utah State set to lead Green Bay. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he's got some space here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Love going to give this one to Jones. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. On second down, it's Jones. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. Throwing, love. And they're gonna mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This will be from 56 yards out. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Going a little tennis on me, I huh? know you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the serve? It, what was the return on? It was a backhand. I and like a that really one. good backhand. It's a nice top spin on the a little bit. bit. I love it. Almost a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good stuff. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. And he stopped immediately there. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. On third down, Wilson. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Oh, the return is Reed. 13 yards, the tally on the return there. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. And Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. 
The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. 45 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. I know they want to go for it here, and I know that their fans want them to go for it, but listen, I'm going to play head coach right here and look at the facts. Tie game, plus, even if you get... And it's a fake here on fourth and inches. Well, the fake punt gets only a yard, but that's enough to pick up the first. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And the Broncos are going to get the football back at their own 17. CD, he tried to kind of lob that one in there. It looked pretty going through the air. And the problem was it was in the air a little bit too long. Yeah, that's a tough one because for that type of a route and what he tried to do and needed to do, he had to put a little air under it and the defender was actually able to take advantage of it because it hung up there just long enough for him to get there and take it away. Denver's offense now set to go. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Flush to his right. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. Here's Wilson to throw. And that is incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they've got a little under 40 seconds to go if they want to try to put something together here. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. 66 yards for On the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Love now to pass on first down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. 
And there's another example, another incompletion. A second down throw for Love. He's going to float this one deep right side. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And the Broncos are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. Tackle made by Devondre Campbell. So if you like field goals, this is your game. 6-3, three, three field goals at the break. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, a look at the next-gen stats for the Packers in that first half. And they were able to have a little bit of success on the ground. The question will be, will they stick with it? Or will they be throwing more to try and regain this lead? Meanwhile, for the Broncos, we take a look there at the numbers for them running the football in that first half. These two teams making their final adjustments before coming out for the second half. And for the call, we go back out to Denver and rejoin Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Well, the Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. The second half starts with a carry by Jones. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in the running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Love looking to throw it. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. And while he did a good job of sliding around in the pocket, there was nowhere to go with the football, so he had to take off and try and run. He just got back to the line of scrimmage, no gain. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to. And if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Flushed out right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He opted to go with a scramble. Gets two yards and now it's fourth. Here's Riley Dixon now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He'll send this away into the Rocky Mountain night and it's a good one. 
A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And with the way this offense has played thus far, you know, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Jones. Powerful running. And this will be a Packers first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Love with it here, third and short yardage. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Get ready, get ready, get ready. going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. On first down, Jones. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Again, it's Jones. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. They'll try the right side with Jones. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, this from 53. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. So back even at six apiece as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. Wilson. He'll find Sutton on the right side complete. And he'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. I like what I'm seeing from them here. A tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead in this game. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Now a second down at six. 
They run it again with Williams. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. The Broncos on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. To throw is Wilson. That's caught by Marquez Callaway. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got it first and 10 as they search for a go-ahead score. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. 54 yards rushing for him now to this point. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Oh, Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. They'll hand it off now, Williams. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it, I'd use one right here. The busy night continues for Williams. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. On the ground, this is Williams. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. On third down, here's Williams. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. We can't be totally sure that that was by design, but we do know that a lot of kickers like the ball in the right hash in order to kick the field goal. And his kick is good. And they take the lead here as it's now 9-6. Well, Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium, that certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defenses. I certainly did. Brought back the images.